the US Navy Brewster F2A2 Buffalo in 148 scale by Tamiya. Looks like a nice little kit to me. Um, on this side of the box we see some color, color, color illustrations showing um, one scheme of the um, US Navy VF2 third section leader of the USS Lexington. Those are the colors for that plane. And on the other side, we have the US Navy VF-3 fourth section right wing USS Saratoga. I also saw on this the date of 1993. This is a fairly old kit. I really like this illustration. It's really colorful and pretty. Inside the box we find one plastic bag. The instructions and the decals. Now, the decals. They look good at first glance, but the carrier film is yellowed and if you look at them at an angle under this light I can see that these decals are riddled filled with cracks everywhere so are they gonna fall apart that's the question When they get released uh, from the backing, are they just going to simply fall apart? I've had decals do that before. And uh, these are old. 1992, it says on them. These are old decals, and they are yellowed. So, I may stick these in a window for a couple days, and then perhaps spray them with a clear coat. Or I could just use them the way they are and take that chance. If they fall apart, then I'll have to get new decals for it. Anyhow. So, um, to me, instructions, they look, they look like typical to me instructions from 1990s. They give you a color guide here for paints, tool guide. Then they jump right into the first steps, and the total steps in this kit are 12. And then on the back two sections, they have markings. This is for the USS Lexington, and then you flip it over, and this is for the USS Saratoga. Okay. Now, the plastic. What did we get here? Okay, looking at the parts. Here is the bottom wing section. Recess panel lines, don't really see much flash at all. Here's the top wings section, same thing, looks pretty good. The uh, clear parts, looks like uh, the canopy itself has come loose. There is the canopy. It looks pretty good. Um, there's another clear part right here. 
this sprue has the right fuselage half and the horizontal stabilizers, the two wheels, the propeller, there are some little bombs, landing gear struts, Tamiya, made in Japan, 1974. I'm confused now. Um, left side fuselage, engine, engine cowling, pilot figure. Instrument panel. Pilot seat. <clears throat> and then laying loose in the bag the propeller hub or spinner whatever all right okay I am ready now to put the two halves of the fuselage together the um, interior parts have all been attached and I've done a little dry brushing to help define them and bring out some of the detail. That's the one side. Let's look at this other side here. There you can see the pilot seat, some of the instruments. Okay, so we're ready to put the two halves together, like I said, and that's coming up next. So the two halves of the fuselage were put together, and it's an okay fit. Kind of a tight fit, you might say. I had to remove on this bottom portion some of the alignment pins because when you went by them it didn't line up that well. There is a bit of a unevenness here even with the pins off. So it looks like this is going to be one of those times that I have to glue a little section at a time and squeeze and let it dry then move on to another section <clears throat> in order to have everything line up properly. Um, this is an early Tamiya kit. Um, Kind of reminds me in some ways of some uh, Revell kits I've built where the overall fit is decent but not perfect. So I'm going to proceed now, grab my glue, and start gluing the fuselage halves together, put the tape on it so it holds it in place. As I glue, like I'll do, I'll glue this top seam here first, and squeeze that together and get everything lined up right and hold it until the glue sets. It's really kind of a pain in the fingers. Or maybe I should start on the bottom. This bottom section is the worst. Um, trying to get this to focus so you can see what I'm talking about. Mm, it's not going to happen, is it? Yeah. Well, anyway. 
It's kind of uneven. Well, here we go. I'm going to do the best I can. All right, so while the fuselage is drying up, I'll let that sit off, off onto the side somewhere here and with all the glue just totally cure. I'm going to move on to step four. <clears throat> and step four is getting the engine, painting it, adding the propeller hub and the shaft and inserting it into the engine cowling. So I'm going to go ahead and get all those pieces and uh, We'll see what happens. All right, um, going to take the tape off now. See how good of a job I did with um, gluing this together. So here goes nothing. Well, looks like it all went together pretty well. There's a little bit of a little bit of unevenness here, despite my best efforts. Um, down here in the bottom side, this seam is pretty even, except when I get towards the tail here. But uh, not too bad. <clears throat> I can live with this. All it's going to take is a little bit of sanding to help uh, smooth this out a bit, even it out. And um, there's the fuselage. This upper portion here, I'm going to paint this again. Uh, the, this flat, flat green here is the proper color. This sky green here is the wrong color for this platform. So uh, I'll just touch that up with some paint and get that right. Um, <clears throat> everything else looks good. Um, I have started working on the engine and such, and I've taken the engine, <coughs> excuse me, I've taken the engine and uh, painted it with a NATO black overall and uh, once that's dry um, once that is dry I will uh, do some dry brushing on it with the uh, Tamiya Weathering Master pastels to bring out uh, highlights and give it some character Yeah. So, once that's dry, we're off. Okay. So here is the engine. All done. It will notch into the inside right there and then the rest of the cowling goes over it this cowling piece I'm going to do that right now and we'll see how that comes out I am getting ready to do a little putting work on these seams just to help smooth the whole thing out. Alright, so I put the decals in a window 
for two days and it appears to have removed 99% of the yellowing that was on this thing. And then I put a couple coats of clear gloss clear coat on it and uh, to try and deal with the all the little cracks because I did a test before I sprayed it I did a test on a decal using one of the decals that I'm not going to use and when I attempted to use it it started to disintegrate on me as you can see right here in this picture it just started falling apart so those cracks were uh, a legitimate concern I guess um, <clears throat> so after the clear two layers of clear coat dried I did another test and I took a couple other decals that that I wouldn't be using on the model and uh, put them on the underside of the wing inside the wing here and they held together just fine they came out really nice so it looks like the decals are usable now which is a good thing anyhow I'm happy about that so on with the show all right uh, here we are the uh, a little bit of Tamiya putty I put in there is. Oh, excuse me. Come on, focus. There we go. It has been uh, sanded down, worked over a little bit. The engine has been added in, as I said I would do, and the last piece of cowling we put on it. So, and it came out pretty good. Everything fit together really well. <clears throat> you can see the engine down in there. Looks all right. You can see where it keyed in the back right there. There's the underside of the cockpit. And it uh, is a nice fit. Okay, so what's going to happen next is anybody's guess. No. <laughs> Uh, I've been kind of jumping around in the instructions a little bit, but that's okay. Um, this is a... <clears throat> I got to a point here where uh, I'm going to set this model aside for a while. And we'll come back to it later. And I'm going to start getting ready to work on the wings. Probably do some painting pretty soon <clears throat> since the wings are going to be uh, kind of a yellowish orange color. As shown in the picture, I'm going to go for this color scheme right here. And um, the top, the upper surfaces of the wings. Are going to be this yellowish orange as is the tail and the tops of the horizontal stabilizers. The rest of the body is going to be uh, flat aluminum with uh, blue engine cowling and a blue stripe. Now the decals, um, I can't remember, I have to look at them again, but the decals there is a the blue stripe included in the decals and I think the blue stripe is for the fuselage and the upper surfaces of the wings. The engine cowling I'm going to have to paint and try and match that same blue color which is going to be interesting to do. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at for this uh, video and We'll see you next time.